everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a makeup tutorial for you today using colors that I haven't really used in combination with each other before. So I hope it all works out well. I've also only used drugstore products so that if you do like how the makeup turns out, you can hopefully go and buy all of, if not most of, the products that I use. So you won't be breaking the bank. <laughs> I'm gonna start off by taking some sticky tape and place this on the side of my eye. Next I'm going to take this Maybelline Eye Studio Color Tattoo in Tenacious Teal with the Sigma Firm Blender E44 brush. I'm just going to dunk my brush into this pot and mine's a little bit dried up because I've had it for a while now so I have to do it a little bit more firmly but um, then we're going to take this and we're going to be applying this in the crease. So just back and forth in windscreen wiper motions. And we're just doing this because sometimes when you place a bright eyeshadow onto your eyelid, and especially a cream eyeshadow, it's quite hard to blend it out after you've applied it to your eyelid. So I always find it's much easier to apply that product in the crease first and blend it out first, and then apply the product to the base of your eyelids. We don't want to go all the way in with this, we want to stop right about here and here because we can go in with more detail after. This is just blending out the colour into the crease first. Next I'm going to take the same Maybelline colour tattoo but this time with the Sigma Shader Lid E56 brush. And with all that cream shadow on the brush I'm going to use this to apply the cream shadow to my eyelids. So I'm just going to pat it on. As I said before my particular product is actually quite dried out because it's been sitting there for so long. But if you have a new one, this will be a little bit easier. To those of you who are new to makeup or new to using cream products, be aware that it is a little bit harder to actually blend out a cream eyeshadow rather than a powder one, just because it's like a solid rather than just being nice and powdery. So if you are having trouble blending it out, it is normal to have to use a little bit more force and to kind of work at it and keep at it for a little bit longer than you normally would. I've got this eyeshadow palette here which contains all of my single eyeshadows by NYX and I'm going to be using this shade here. This particular eyeshadow is called Frosted Ocean and it's basically just a very dark navy blue with quite a lot of chunks of shimmer in it. You may have to be careful with fallout because it does have chunks of glitter in it. So I'm just going to use my ring finger to apply this eyeshadow. I'm a huge fan of using my fingers to apply eyeshadow. It really, really packs on colour better than any brush that I've ever used. So it obviously looks quite messy at the moment, so I'm going to go in with the Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush with that same uh, navy blue colour. Now I'll take a slightly bigger blending brush. This one is by Sigma also called their Blending E25 brush. And I'm not going to take anything on my brush just yet. All I'm going to be doing is just blending out this eyeshadow into the crease. The key is to start off with very, very little and work your way up. Rather than loading your brush full of powder, just grab a tiny little bit, start blending it in, into the crease, or even in this case, put nothing on your brush so that you can blend what you already have on your eyes upwards rather than putting more eyeshadow on your brush and then using that to blend out. Just keep it to whatever you've already got on your eyes and use that to you know, blend up. Now we're taking a much smaller brush. This is the Sigma Shader Inner Corner E46 brush and try and use a brush that is quite narrow and quite small so that you can really get into the small little areas. I'm going to take that same dark eyeshadow. Please make sure that you tap off any of the excess so that you get, don't get big glitter chunks and you probably will be left with hardly anything on your brush but as I said before better to work your way up 
than to just go in like <laughs> full throttle. <laughs> now with this, we're just going to be applying this in this area here because as you can see, I left that bare for the for the time being because all the brushes we were using are were too big to safely get in that area. So I'm using a separate smaller brush and I'm just going to very carefully apply this eyeshadow here. So that is how that looks at the moment. It's a lot of blue and it's a lot of darkness, but <laughs> it'll all come full circle. Because I was bored last night, I decided to try out a gel eyeliner and I was really, really impressed. I used this little brush here, which is by Sigma, their eyeliner E11 brush, which is the finest little brush, the smallest little brush. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio New York, um, I'm not sure why I said New York, but whatever. Um, gel liner in blackest of black. So as you can see, I haven't used this one yet, but I find that using gel gives more control. I find that it's less watery and less thin, so there's less chance of it going woo if you don't have a steady hand. So I'm gonna try use this. This may be a little bit hard because I usually had this hand free, but I'm using it as my mirror, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Now for the scary part, taking off the sticky tape. Do it very slowly because this is a very delicate area. <laughs> so now we are on to the bottom lash line and I'm going to be using my Naked One palette. Now I know this definitely isn't a drugstore, but this is like iconic on YouTube now, so I'm sure most people will have this. If you don't, we are just going to be using Half Baked, which is this one here, this plain gold shade. So if you do have a gold eyeshadow, that will work just as well. Are we taking that on my little finger? And just loading that up. <laughs> and then applying this underneath my bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to go in with the small little eyeliner brush we used and the gel eyeliner. I'm going to grab a tiny little bit of this on the very tip of my brush and then I'm going to put this in the very inner corner, kind of making a bit of a cat eye, a kind of Egyptian kind of Cleopatra look. So I'll just be you're basically lining the tear duct. After that, I'm going to take my Sigma eyeliner pencil in Eclipse and I'll be placing this in my waterline. Next, I'll be using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. First time I've used this one, it's a brand new tube, so I'm very excited. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this all over my lashes, of course. So this is how it looks so far. We've got everything pretty much done besides false lashes. And then I'm gonna do some um, contouring. <laughs> contouring, 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 contouring on my cheeks and apply some blush and lipstick and all that stuff. For lashes, I'll be using the Katy Perry ColourPop lashes. They look like this. And these ones are in the shade Kaching. Is that what it's called? I'm not really sure what they're called, but these are other green ones. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but these lashes actually have green little lashes within the black lashes. I'm going to use my iPhone light to try and shine on the green ones. Can you kind of see now that there's like green lashes within the black lashes? Hopefully that made it a little bit clearer for you guys. <laughs> so I'll be using the Ardell Lash Grip. Now unfortunately I thought I was filming but I wasn't and I just applied blush. So I used the MUA Makeup Academy Blusher 
in shade 6 on the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. And I was just saying how much I really, really like this shade. It's a very natural kind of deserty, dusty pink, uh, but it has a kind of gold shimmer, a very, very fine shimmer throughout it. So I'll just touch up just so you can see how I applied it. But um, yeah, I've always, always loved these very natural pinky shades. This kind of color was the first blush shade that I ever used because it was one that my mum had in her little makeup collection. So. It's close to my heart. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Next I'll be using the Mary Luminizer Highlighter from The Balm with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And I'm just going to highlight the highest points of my cheekbones. I'm going to add a little tiny bit to my Cupid's bow as well which gives me a little milk moustache. <laughs> Next, I'll be using the NYX Extreme Lip Cream in Natural. So this is just a really nice pinky, nudie shade. The last product I'll be using is the MUA Makeup Academy Lip Boom in Doing Good. <laughs> And I'll be using this end here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is a lip gloss and a lipstick. But the lip gloss is absolutely jam packed with glitter. So I'm going to use this on top of that lipstick lip gloss thing just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. <laughs> And it smells and tastes like vanilla cake. Oh, yum. <laughs> so that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I am very, very happy with how it turned out. It's kind of a little bit, I don't know, it almost looks a little bit like Egyptian inspired or something like that. Well, not really. I think I just think that because it has that little cat eye line a bit in the inner corner. If you guys have any requests or anything like that, please do let me know in the comment section down below and I look forward to seeing you guys all next week. Bye!